Hello everyone. Um, it's been a while since I last updated, um, and sorry about that. Um, just been lazy, I guess. Uh, weather in Hong Kong has been quite hot, and it's a good thing I've installed an air conditioner in the room where I keep the the worms, or else uh, they all would have died. Um, lately, it's been over 30 degrees Celsius and worms need between 26 to 28 degrees Celsius in order to um, maintain a proper system. So um, it's a good thing I've installed the air conditioner here. Um, lately I've been having problems with flies. Uh, I should have a picture up. Um, and uh, I've tried using the honey soap and uh, apple cider vinegar as well as fly traps and they all don't work. Um, ultimately, what I ended up having to do is use a vacuum cleaner to uh, open the bins up, um, make the flies fly around, and then just vacuum them up. Uh, they're pretty dumb in that way that they're not going to fight back. And um, I've had to do this over a couple of days, and um, each time, the first time I must have vacuum, I don't know, maybe three dozen flies. Second, and uh, just just now I've only had to do about a dozen. So it's an interesting method, uh, definitely annoying that this is an issue. Um, it, because of the fact that uh, my f bin is indoors, so um, I th this is definitely more of an issue for me than if you were doing this outdoors, where um, you didn't, you wouldn't have to worry too much about flies. So, like, if you are doing a worm bin indoors, uh, definitely have a vacuum cleaner handy. Um, sometimes, even just having those small handheld ones um, is a good idea. Uh, something that's um, just—it's just easy just to have around. Um, so. Um, if we take a look at my bin now, um, as you can see, um, the color and the of the compost is actually very good. Uh, one of the things I did was uh, because the amount of the, the population of my bins had, had not been growing much, so one of the things I did was I actually split it up into two bins. So this is just the first bin. Let me let me actually show you the second bin first. So this right here is the second bin, um, and they're both about the same right now. Um, the reason why I did that is because I wanted to be able to feed them more and also to give the worms a bit more room to move around. Um, so uh, if we if I move these guys this aside, you'll see that a lot of them are clumped to the bottom, which is a good thing. So the bins themselves is like I'm, I'm getting pretty good worm populations and stuff like that. So I'm not too worried about this. Um, so for the time being, for the next bit, I'm actually going to um, uh, harvest my worm castings, and then add both bins, and then I am going to add more food. So I will talk to you in a bit. So out of my two bins, um, I've been able, I was able to get about a plate full of. Um, compost. Now, um, because of the fact that I'm using a very, very fine mesh sieve like this, uh, it's actually a noodle sieve, um, so there is, um, I'm sure that there's a lot more compost I could have gotten, but uh, because I wanted to, number one, just get as, as pure a compost as I possibly can for the time being, um, the interesting thing is, it's like there's actually a lot of bug material that's still bugs that are still active, um, little cocoons and stuff like that. So um, I will be putting 
all of this into uh, this box right here, which I'll leave to the side for a bit. And then I'll probably go back in a couple of days and see what other, see, like, and, and filter out any of the new, any of the bugs that grow up. So, basically, uh, this is all the compost I've gotten. So, the next step I'm going to do is feed my worms, and I will be back in a little bit. Okay, um, I have prepared the food that I will be feeding the worms. Um, I'm going to be actually feeding them two, from two different sources. Um, what I'm going to start off with is um, from um, my regular decompost bin. Um, and this just basically contains coffee grinds, and right now it's a lot of old Brussels sprouts. So I'm just going to lay down a layer on the bottom first. Such as this. Now on top of that, uh, what I've created is, um, basically this is just old vegetables that we put in the freezer and I've um, I blended it all up and mixed it with some newspaper, so it's just basically going to go right on top like this. And then on top of that, one more layer of the decomp. Now as you can see, I'm only adding it to one side and this just basically allows the uh, the worms to migrate to this side when they want to. And then finally, newspaper on top of that. So this is one bin and my second bin. So I'm also going to add it onto this side. So same thing. Um, Definitely, especially during the summertime, especially in Hong Kong, if you are doing worm composting and you're trying to save your um, your organic waste, uh, it is always preferable to uh, to put it into the freezer first. Uh, the main reason why is because of the fly issue, and it's. The heat in Hong Kong, the heat and humidity in Hong Kong will make it, it makes it very easy for the flies to breed. So it's always best to it's always best to um, put it in the freezer first. And what this does is that it kills off a lot of the um, the larvae from the flies. One final layer of the mush, sorry, the decomp, and then more newspaper on top of this. So, that is pretty much it, and um, hopefully I will come back in a couple of days and do an update video. That's all for today, and I shall sign off here. See you all.